Hi guys and welcome to today's video. I will be doing a sketchbook flip through of my Inktober drawings. Um, if you don't know what Inktober is, Inktober is a month long challenge created by Jake Parker where the aim is to do one drawing every day completed in an ink based medium. So here is my first day. It's completed in calligraphy pen. I think the brand is Edding and Windsor and Newton Silver ink. I didn't have much time on the first day to do anything, so I did something quite simple and I wanted to do something to mark the start of Inktober in my sketchbook. So I did a sort of title page, I suppose, and I used a straw to blow the ink around the page. Just a bit of fun, really. And the second day was completed in ballpoint pen and felt tip pens. I quickly realised that I could use the felt tip pens like almost like a watercolour watercolour pen because of how water soluble they are. So I almost applied them like paint to the page by drawing them into a plastic palette first and then using a bit of water and a brush to lift the ink off of the palette. I'm really pleased with this one. This was probably one of my favourite uh, drawings I did. And this was day three, a little of kitten. Um, this one was completed in ink tents, um, white pen and a drawing pen. Oh, I should also mention that um, all, almost all of the pictures that I've drawn here um, have used Paint My Photo uh, as a reference site. There's lots of uh, reference photos you can use on that site. They're completely free, royalty free, so you won't get in trouble for using them. In terms of copyright, I'll leave the link to that site in a description box. Turn the page. This was day four. It was a three marker challenge. It took me quite a while to work out what I wanted to draw for this. Um, I got a dark, a dark ready brown, um, a bright green and a sort of muted blue so they weren't exactly colours that you could easily blend together but I'm pleased with the outcome and I think it's quite creative. This one was completed on uh, Win well, Letraset or Windsor and Newton marker paper um, that I glued in because I didn't want to draw straight onto my sketchbook page because of the ink could have leaked through the page and marked the bag. Didn't want that. This was day five. It was completed in ballpoint pen. This was day six. I wanted to draw something in a sort of monochrome way. So I guess it's not really monochrome because they're two colors, but uh, I just fancied doing something in sort of one color family. So I picked well, my first thought was uh, Pokemon towns, like um, in some of the earlier games, the towns were based completely on one colour, so the colour scheme was quite simple. This is Lavender Town, and it was one of the creepiest places in Pokemon. So I thought it was quite fitting for sort of a Halloween kind of theme. I know it's quite early in the month, but I still had the Halloween vibe. Oh, um, it was completed in Ink Tents felt tips and a brush pen. This was day seven. This was completed in a watercolour brush pen. Um, it is ink, it's just a uh, watercolour ink. I'm quite pleased with how this turned out. It required quite a few layers to um, sort of bring out the contrast between the sort of lighter areas and darker areas. Ravens are one of my favourite birds as well. Oh yes, uh, day eight was the Windsor and Newton challenge. So this is my entry for the Windsor and Newton challenge. It The challenge is to draw um, something inspired by the Windsor and Newton logo. They give you a template with some random lines, or seemingly random. Um, they're pulled out of the Griffin logo, the Windsor and Newton logo, and um, you have to try and create something using those lines. So I kind of saw a peacock and then thought of the Aurora Borealis. 
uh, big and pro markers, little bit of coloured pencil. I'm happy with how the peacock turned out, but I'm not so happy about the background. Uh, I just think it could look better. Could have spent more time on it, I think. Day nine was an owl. It was completed with a white uni Posca marker. Um, and I dyed the uh, the page black with dough and ink tense blocks. I thought it'd be fun to sort of draw white on black. It was quite a challenge and I really liked how it turned out. This was day 10. <laughs> the pages got pretty dirty from rubbing up against the um, the black background from, from the owl painting, but this was completed with Winter and Newton drawing inks in brick red and canary yellow. I only have three colours. I have um, those two and the silver. Uh, this was a lot of fun. I painted the page with water to start off with and then dropped the ink onto the water and it sort of bloomed. It's quite a fun effect. And then I... Um, went over the top with a brown ballpoint pen and I think a Sakura brush pen, Sakura Micron. I like how this turned out, I think it's quite simple. Day 11 was some betta fish, or Siamese fighting fish. I wanted to do something really colourful and I wanted to do it in felt tips again to play around with that sort of uh, the watercolour effect that I can get with them. So this one was completed in felt tip, ballpoint pen and a little bit of white uni Posca marker again. This was day 12, um, a lima completed in uh, dough and ink tents and ballpoint pen. This was a lot of fun to draw. I really like drawing fur with uh, ballpoint pen. Day 13 was these mushrooms. I wanted to sort of recreate an illustration page from an old book. I really wanted to uh, do some old kind of cursive script or writing to describe what species they were but I couldn't really find out exactly what species they were and my handwriting isn't the greatest either so I think I just leave it how it is and I'm pleased with how it turned out. This was completed in ink tents, um, Winsor & Newton drawing ink in red, brick red and um, canary yellow. I think even there's a little bit of silver in there as well. Um, I also used some masking fluid to mask off the white spots so that I could be quite free with the drawing ink. I'm pleased with how this turned out. Day 14 was this flamingo. I don't think it really picks up on webcam how fluorescently pink this is. Once again it was completed in the Derwent drawing inks in brick red and canary yellow. I watered them down quite a bit so that I could get a, a paler colour and the brick red uh, became this really bright pink and I just thought it was fun to play around with. I also used the Delita Neo Pico uh, watercolour brush pen for this one as well, for the outlines. Day 15 is upside down in my sketchbook because, I don't know. I think I had a mental lapse or something, but this is a superb starling. It's completed in Doe and Ink Tense Pencils, Winsor & Newton Silver Drawing Ink for the background, a uh, ballpoint pen, and I think that's it. I'm pleased with how this turned out. I really like the colours of the bird and it was very inspiring, so. I also liked how the how I did the background. I thought it was quite minimalistic, but um, it really brings your attention to the bird. It's not a perfect circle, but you know. Mm. 
day 16 is this still life glass in ballpoint pen um, oh I also used some white pen to bring out the highlights this was a, a bit of an experiment I used some uh, rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol to see if I could blend the ballpoint pen and that did work uh, sort of created a watercolour effect in places where the colour sort of um, the, the, the pigment sort of spread so yeah, I thought that was quite interesting I would have liked to spend a lot longer in this piece because I feel like it's quite rushed uh, there's a lot more detail in the reflections and the cut crystal glass but I'm pleased with how it turned out I think it's simple yet effective Day 17 was this. This was my first proper attempt at using the chameleon marker, which is a pen that um, you can change the colour or the saturation of the ink. So this was just a bit of fun. I wanted to draw a bird skull and end up drawing a bottle and wanted to make it a bit creepy so I added some eyeballs this was also done on the Winsor Newton or Electroset uh, marker paper day 18 is this pet portrait of my mum's cat uh, this was a bit of a cheat really because I only used uh, dough and ink tents for the media. I used dough and ink tents and coloured pencils and the only ink medium that I used was the uh, dough and ink tents and that was a fairly simple underpainting. Most of the drawing here is completed in coloured pencil. This was uh, done on Kunson Montevall um, 300 GSM watercolour paper. It's hot pressed and I haven't um, drawn much on hot pressed paper before so it's quite a challenge. Very smooth. Day 19 was this tiger. I brushed the page with some Derwent Ink Tents and a mixture of the Brick Red and Canary Yellow uh, Windsor and Newton Drawing Inks just to put some colour down. I wanted to do something similar to the uh, Lima and the Owl where I drew on top of it with other colours. So I used ballpoint pen um, and the white uni Fosca mark for this. I like how it turned out, I especially like how I used blue in the shadows, I think it adds a nice contrast. Day 20 was this Silvari woman. Um, Silvari is a race from uh, the Guild Wars universe. They are a kind of nymph-like forest <laughs> forest spirit. Say that ten times fast. Uh, she is completed in ballpoint pen. She's um, Kaith, which is one of the main characters in the story. She's quite an interesting character. She's very elusive and mysterious. Day 21 was this toucan, completed in felt tips, used as watercolour again. Um, a bit of Winsor & Newton drawing ink for the beak and walk me pen. I love toucans, uh, they're like party in the front, business in the back because they have you know a bright coloured bill and kind of almost like they look, they look a bit like where they're wearing a suit. I don't know, I think they're funny. Day 22 is some Steven Universe fan art, once again completed in pro markers and trio markers on the Winsor & Newton or Letra set uh, marker paper. I outlined it in ballpoint, ball, ballpoint pen. I wanted to draw Garnet in a more realistic way. I'm pleased with how she turned out. I think she looks really cool. <laughs> Day 23 is a pair of gannets. They are a seabird and I completed these in ink tents and a little bit of ballpoint pen. Uh, I didn't spend much time on these and I wish that I had because a lot of the texture in the, the 
was present in the reference photo isn't there in my drawing and I think it really detracts from the piece. So you never know, maybe I'll go back into it one day with some colour pencil or something. Day 24 was this elephant, once again on an ink wash background in ink tents, and I used a ballpoint pen and I think a sakura jelly roll um, for the white bits. I really like how much texture is in this piece. I think it's quite interesting. I'd like to do some more like that. Day 25 was this dog, um, once again completed in felt tips and ball, ball point pen. I thought that this photo was such, reference photo was such a charming picture and um, I just couldn't help but draw it. He's such a lovely looking dog. Day 26 is probably my favourite out of all of my drawings that I've done for Inktober. It's a red-headed aura parrot completed in ballpoint pen, a yellow felt tip because I don't have a yellow ballpoint pen, and Windsor and Newton drawing ink for the background. I spent quite a lot of time on this, a little bit more than I um, did on most of the other pictures, apart from uh, the three that aren't in my sketchbook. I really liked how I did the background on the starling, so I decided to do it again for this parrot. Day 27 was this little pumpkin drawing, completed in pro markers, and at one point I did use some ink tents, uh, pencils to add a bit more contrast, but didn't really do much, and I added a bit of, I'm not sure if that's either white uni posca pen or sacra jelly roll, but um, I used it to outline some of the pumpkins because they were looking a bit blurry. But this is the kind of drawing that I really like, or reference photo that I really like to draw, where it's a close-up shot with lots of abstract shapes and really fun bright colours. And I thought this was very Halloween and um, seasonal, so I had a lot of fun drawing that. Day 28 is this panda on an ink wash background again and completed in uni posca marker and symbol point. Once again I really like the contrast and I used some blue in the shadows and a bit of uh, yellow um, on the lighter side. Well, orange I suppose. It's sort of understated I think. Understated and textural, I really like that. I really struggled for day 29 and I'm not sure if you can tell but I've um, glued a thick piece of paper onto the page that was underneath. I started drawing out something and it just wasn't turning out the way that I wanted it to. I spent quite a lot of time on it and there was a point where I just thought I just got to start again because it just wasn't something that I was proud of. So I started drawing this ladybird and it turned out quite well so I ended up sticking that in it into my sketchbook instead. This one was completed in um, Derwent Drawing Ink in the Brick Red and Canary Yellow again, uh, a little bit of Black Tria marker, um, some ballpoint pen, and a little bit of coloured pencil for where the shadows are. I know it's cheating, but um, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> Day 29 was this iguana. Once again, ballpoint pen and felt tip. I had a lot of fun with the salt in the background. Um, it works very similarly to how uh, salt works on watercolour, where it sort of pushes the pigment away from the salt crystals. With different size salt crystals, you can get a different texture. And I really wanted to try that out, but by the time that I had painted down um, the, the ink on the iguana, it had sort of stained the page, so the ink didn't really have the same effect as it did on the background. Which is a shame, but I still worked with it, and I think it turned out nicely. I used a lot more ballpoint than I was expecting, and I used a bit of uh, the white sacra jelly roll to bring out some highlights and some of the scales. Once again, I would have liked to spend a lot more time on 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 this piece, but 
due to the constraints of the challenge, I really wasn't able to. I'm pleased with how it turned out though, of course. <laughs> And the very last day, so day 31, was this wolf completed in ball and pen, uh, felt tip, Derwent ink tents, and the Winsor and Newton silver drawing ink. I started drawing this out with the idea that it was going to be a fairly realistic piece, and I ended up messing up this eye. I made it too dark um, because the gel pen, the uh, gel pen, the uh, ball pen kept on blobbing. So I covered it with a white Sakura jelly roll to start off with and then ended up colouring over it again with Uni Fosca marker and it just wasn't matching this eye because the, the page I guess is, isn't is bright right white, it's a sort of creamy colour. So this eye was looking very blue and it just wasn't matching. So I ended up colouring over both the eyes with white and made it into a sort of spiritual wolf I guess. And then it came to me to add some blue in the background to make it sort of magical so i added lots of silvery stars as well went a bit over the top i think but <laughs> it was a bit of fun and that's it really i'm really pleased with my inktober um this is my first Incto inktober that i've uh i've completed i hadn't tried it before um it was quite a challenge to do a drawing every day and uh, for some some of the drawings I wasn't able to. I had to catch up and draw a couple or even at one point three drawings one day. Um, I think that's just sort of the nature of the challenge though. You can't predict what each day in your month holds and some, sometimes your days are just busier than others. I also had the challenge of recording every single drawing that I drew so I wasn't able just to sit down and uh, quickly draw something off to the side. I had to really set up for each drawing. But I'm really pleased that I did draw um, everything whilst recording because I think it's helped my YouTube channel a little bit. And whilst I'm on that note, thank you very much for everybody who's subscribed so far. Um, I think I've got about 30 subscribers so far. And um, that's really surprising to me. I didn't realize that people would be so interested in my little two minute drawings. I plan on doing um, some tutorials and some reviews in the future so keep subscribed if you're interested in that sort of thing as well thank you very much for watching please uh, give me a like and a comment if you found this interesting see you again soon <laughs>